what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube hustle man tv hustle man mike hill y'all are the hustlers today we have another buck bang for you today we will be featuring my boy bugatti casino tell me your instagram man, man bugatti casino Philippe. y'all know the fuck going on with me then we also have my boy Heat Wave Johnny right here. Give me your Instagram, man. Yeah, yeah, Heat Wave Johnny, man, just like that. All right, y'all, so today on our mukbang, we have pork chops, we have meatloaf, we have broccoli and cheese casserole, we have baked salmon, we have green beans, loaded mashed potatoes. We also have gumbo back here behind us, along with cornbread to go with it on the side. All right, Bugatti, the world want to know, man, how you guys started rapping? Uh, Jill? Prison. That's how I started rapping. How you get your name? Mm. How did I get it or when did I get it? Both of them. Look, we want to get to know you today. I got it in prison. <laughs> and my mama. And this shit just came with like. I just, when I was growing up, uh, my, my, my childhood name Boo. I grew up, everybody called me Boo. You know what I'm saying? Little Boo. Boo. You know what I'm saying? And I just uh, took that shit and put Gotti, you know what I'm saying, at the end of Boo and made it all one word. Like, and it's Boo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? It's like John Gotti on some street shit, on some about shit. But mine, mine was like, it was like for that, but it was also for like the car, Boo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, I used to be in the streets, bro. I never really just, you know, growing up, nigga ain't had social media and shit like that to nigga see shit and didn't know what shit was. Like, I never heard of a motherfucking boo guy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know, knew what the fuck that was. I went to jail and started reading. I had a magazine called DuPont. It's like with all the exotic cars and shit in that motherfucking magazine and shit. And I ran across the bitch and I'm like, damn, what the motherfucking cars is? Because I've seen this like boo guy. Damn. And then they were saying, like, it's the fast, one of the fastest cars in the world. It is the fastest car in the world. You know what I'm saying? It just was a whole lot of shit that made sense. It was like, shit, this a car that's worth a million dollars or more. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I don't work for a million dollars or more. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, this motherfucker go 280 and so, you know what I'm saying? Like the fast car in the world. I'm like, damn, everything I do fast. Like my life fast. You know what I'm saying? I move fast. You know what I'm saying? Think fast. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like I was always ahead of my time. You know what I'm saying? So it just, all this shit just came with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I got it, you know what I'm saying? And then the casino part just came with like, right, gambling, bro, like, I always had like a big ass gambling problem and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then on top of like, my life had been so fucked up, bro, like, I used to be on shit like shit, like, you know, I come from work, if you don't take a chance of life, you ain't gonna never be shit. I don't give a fuck who you, I don't give a fuck who you or what you try to do. Gotta take a chance, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I really just came up with the, you know what I'm saying, the casino shit. I feel like, like, life's a gamble, bro. I don't really see any shit, like, it's at the point where, like, shit. Motherfucker walking outside to their car. Motherfucker can be walking outside to their car and just kill. A motherfucker can go to sleep today and not wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, just like, I'm superstitious as fuck, bro. I'm super, super, super superstitious, so I be on some shit like you gotta gamble, like not just, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying like gamble with your life, bro. Like with everything, I feel like everything in the world is a gamble, bro. I don't give a fuck. If it's got down, you know what I'm saying? Picking up your phone, calling somebody, like I don't give a fuck what it is. Like when you look at it, it's a gamble, everything to me. So it's like you gotta weigh your options. That's how I look at it. You take, I feel like you're taking a gamble. Every time anything go on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck what it is. I feel like we're gambling, bro. Like, that's just how, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. That's how I kind of came, you know? That's how I came about it. Then other shit started coming and making sense. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, my role model used to be Bugsy Single. And then he owned the casino, the Flamingo. It's just, it was just a bunch of shit, bro. It's like, we would be out all day. Like, it's a bunch of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a lot. Okay, so from one gambler to another, what's your point when you shoot? What point you can park and can't don't need to park on you? All of them. A motherfucking gambler. Right. <laughs> My mama. Plain bullshit, bro. So, All of them. So you 10 or 4, you 6 and 8, what, what, what you shoot? 10 or 4, 10 or 4, 6 and 8. Everything. 10 or 4, 6 and 8. 
Um, nine to five, it, everything, bro. You, you shoot the ball? Yeah. Nah, I ain't playing no ball because it's not gambling to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like ball, and it's crazy because when I'm from they play that shit a lot, but I don't believe in that lame ass ball shit. Ball is saving a nigga. A gamble, a gamble is taking a risk. You're not really taking, I feel like you're not really taking no risk, bro, if you're born because, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how the dice fall, a nigga still get to get whatever he put up at just off the ball. Like, nah, mm -hmm. yeah, nah, we gonna fuck out there. It's either nigga, nigga, I'm winning or you, <clears throat> nigga, I'm winning or you winning. Nigga, ain't no ball, nothing. We ain't breaking even, we ain't. Fuck all that. We, we drop, we not gaming. We, fuck that, fuck that. Basically, y'all exchange your money. Yeah, yeah. Do you stay? I'm not for to do that, nigga. That's gamble. Ball, ball, man. Fuck out of here, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I, I gamble so much to the point, to the, man, say, man, I play, man, listen, man, I'll shoot a nigga at, I'll shoot a nigga at, my point can be eight. My point, no, my point can be ten. I bet a nigga at, man, what's up, man? I, I got got down. Whatever, I will not hit this six before I hit seven. At my point ten, the whole time, and we still on the front line with this ten, this ten. Then we on the back end with the ten or four. Like, I'm like, I'm not even just that with anything. I don't give a fuck what it is. Like, I bet a nigga, I beat a nigga in flipping quarters. <laughs> okay, so what y'all, so what y'all used to call it? Did y'all have a name for that? Flipping quarters? Mm -hmm. Nah, here nah. That's what you just call it, motherfucker. So, flipping quarters. You know, I'm a little young nigga, you know what I'm saying? But my generation, we call it get like me. Whether you flipping quarters, dollars, hundreds, whatever. We just call that bitch just flipping like. We ain't really just, just to flip them all. I was just hot side, but we used to not flip them like head said. We used to flip them all like to the point where like, we would draw a line somewhere mm -hmm. and find a wall. And see who and whoever get the closest to the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Flip that bitch, so we flip that bitch close to the wall like, without hitting the wall. You hit the wall, you lose. You know what I'm saying? Automatically off the rip loop. Okay. You know okay. So hey, yeah, that's what. You know, so I'm like for us down here, how I grew up in my younger days when I was gambling like a motherfucker, we played a game called Get Like Me. Mm. Get Like Me, whether you had a quarter, a dollar, or a hundred. First person go, you flip. Mm. Whatever it land on, game called Get Like Me. If you can land on the oh, same yeah, that's thing, hard. that's hard. <laughs> if you can land on the same thing, yeah. you win your bet. Yeah. But if you land on the opposite, you lose your bet. That's hard. That's but hard. we start putting him up on the double time college shit, John. Yeah, I don't gamble. I ain't no gamble. Yeah, see, he ain't a gambler. <laughs> well, that's straight. You know, me and John go so way back, man. Hey, John can tell you stories. I used to be in high school in the restroom hitting them hoes. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No bullshit, I can't lie to you. Oh, he already know. He can tell you we used to play get like me at lunch. In the back of the classroom or uh, in the auditorium, we we gonna gamble. No bullshit. Well, I like your outlook though. I, I get the casino. Yeah, I understand, understand it. It's just it's the way I like, bro. Gamble is the way. So life. life's a gamble, basically. You know, my kids. That's oh yeah, it. just know that shit. Know, the way that's my model. That's how I live. Like life's a gamble before. What it is? Life's a gamble, bro. I'm telling you, cause you never know your lad. That nigga life's a gamble, bro. Gotta take chances, bro. Gamble. Got it, you know what I'm saying? Not okay, me. so happy you said taking chances. Chances make champions, right? Like the yeah. Jeremy said. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I've been peeping lately. You've been wearing all the get off your ass, hit a leak. Yeah. You know, I know that clothing lines associated with him. Do you have a relationship with him? Do you have a relationship with Gas Game? Yeah, that, yeah, that's like my brother. Yeah, that's like my brother, Jeremy. No, definitely him. You know, uh, Deontay, Nico, it's like my brother, man. So that's how you get all the exclusive Drew. Yeah. I seen sure. that back. I just left him over up, man. Damn, I wish I had my slides in my car outside, man. I got some oh, slides, slides. I like just dropped. Yeah, yeah. So I peeped the slides, yeah, yeah. but I peeped that badass rug as well. Oh, yeah. That, that rug a bad motherfucker. Uh, yeah. You the only one with the rug, or is it, uh, how'd it go? Uh, Nah, I ain't even got one. That was a uh, Deontay shit. I'm finna get one though. Like okay. he just now got that bitch. Like they just not getting it. But I'm finna, I'm finna be the first one with besides them. But one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gonna be the first one with I'm it? Be, I'm gonna be like the first. Yeah, I'm gonna be like one of the first. Somebody people. called Big Draco. Yo, who got it the first one with a get? You know what I'm saying? Get off your ass. He the lick room. Yo, he right here in Texas, cause he's from DFW. We from the H. 
We the first one to pop our shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody call Draco, man. Tell them to come to the city and fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this show, I'm gonna be the first one. I'm gonna be one of the first shit, yo. So, like, outside they circle. Like, hey. Okay, okay. Nah, like I just told the people, you are from Dallas. So, Fort Worth. Well, Fort Worth, DFW, you know, people that ain't from there don't know there's a difference. Totally different. <laughs> and I love, I love the fuck out of Dallas. I love Dallas. I feel like, Sometimes I get more love in Dallas than anything, bro. Love Dallas, like, my brother's from Dallas, you know what I'm saying? KG, he's from Dallas. Lil' Daddy from Dallas. You know he from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of people, yeah, from Dallas. Like, love Dallas, bro. So where you grew up at in Fort Worth? Uh, Stop Six. So Stop Six, listen. Let the people know where Stop Six is, That's where it's located. Man. It's Fort Worth on the east side of Fort Worth, Texas. You understand me? Yeah, man, right out the freeway, 820, this shit get real. Stop six, baby, for shit show, Village Creek, baby. You know, like, this shit get real now. <laughs> like, there's new way shit fucking shit up, but this shit get real. Indeed, for shit show. Okay, so we all doing the mukbang, we eating, we enjoying ourselves. What's some of your favorite spots in Stop Six to eat at? Uh, shit. I ain't never had a favorite spot in Stop Six to eat. You know, just regular, regular hood street shit. You know, Williams chicken. Uh, just regular shit. We ain't really got no food places in Stop City like that. Stop City smiles at everybody. Like, you know, we got Williams chicken and shit like that, but we ain't got no. You know, you know, you know, I fuck around, pull up to the gas station, get some motherfucking hot wings or something from, you know, from the shelves or something. It should be shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah, yeah, I ain't never just really. I just never really had, you know what I said, nothing too major and stuff, see? Not nothing deep, you know? Okay, so, I know you didn't relocated out here. You've been out here working, doing this shit, you know what I'm saying, making your name in the city. Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite restaurants locally in Houston? Uh, yeah, what's that shit called? Bus waffles, chicken. What's this? Waffle bus. Waffle bus. Waffle bus. That shit waffle good. Bus bitch. Hard. Okay. That okay. Shit good. Bitch. That shit hard. That shit the truth. Bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Turkey leg hood and shit like that is cool, but that shit kind of overrated. To me. I'm happy you said that. That's a big question I run across. Anybody I don't yeah, know, anybody that's social media. Oh, you from Houston? I feel like they do too much. They try to make shit too good, like. You know what I'm saying? I'm extra sauce and shit. Like, you know what the fuck are y'all doing? I ain't gonna have high blood pressure. Fuck that. It's cool though, it's cool, but. You know, I feel like it's just too, like, too much. Like, I ain't wanna have secret sauce and shit. Like, I don't know. And when it comes down to some of the traditional places, some of the places we are known for, have you been to the Breakfast Club? What about the original Frenchies before it was relocated? Breakfast Club. What's the Breakfast Club? Have I been to my motherfucker? Breakfast club. I don't think I've been. What they serve? Breakfast? They serve breakfast, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they serve, they don't, they need chicken and waffles. That's they just open. like my favorite food. Don't they open there too? Yeah. They be open late and shit. They serve chicken and waffles, shrimp and grease. Shit off Travis. Oh, I you off Travis. Yeah, motherfucker. That's what it's at, who? Yeah, yeah, that I shit. Need to, why? They the first ones. Yo, you weird. Why you ain't there? Oh, man, because look, I ain't finna wait in line. Nah, I'm not finna wait in line. Outside, nigga. That shit sounds like it's good, though. Breakfast club. Yeah, the breakfast yeah, club hard though. I ain't been there in a minute. I ain't never been there, motherfucker. But they got the line mm. just like Turkey Lid. That bitch gonna be down the street. I ain't never got a bad motherfucker. I ain't never been to Turkey Lid. I just had people go get it for me. Yeah, cause shit. Dude, <laughs> it was, it was, I can tell you kind of how it look on the outside right now. I ain't, never, I ain't standing on the line. Fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we already touched bases a little bit on where you get your casino and your flamingo. Yeah. And, based off of Seagull and he actually owning the Flamingo and things like that. But when it comes to your jury, what inspired your jury, man? I see you got your NBC5, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My shit tell stories, bro. Okay. I feel like everything, like even on my tattoos, like everything about me tell a story, bro. It tell something real, you know what I'm saying? Authentic. It don't be no, like a lot of these niggas uh, do shit out. I feel like they stop dick riding and being like other motherfuckers. But I really go with my real life for everything I do. You know what I'm saying? I, I had reasons for everything I do in life. I just don't do shit for no reason or cause it cause it, cause it look cool. Like nigga wanna wear design and I, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Nigga, if I don't like it, nigga, I feel like it ain't a reason for me to wear a fucking 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not wearing no motherfucking designer because another rapper won. Fuck that rapper. He ain't talking. He was down by no wearing no motherfucking designer. You know what I'm saying? They got to mean something to me, bro. That shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, my jewelry, like, you know, Channel 5, NBC ring, um, the, the, the uh, 21 shots ring with the Glock. You know what I'm saying? The casino, you know what I'm saying? The Bugatti Bell. Like, all, this, all my shit means something. Like, it ain't just no, you know what I'm saying? I don't just go get no anything, bro. Everything I do means so. Down there to the shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just really do shit because I like shit. Some shit, you know, it's cool because I like it, but shit got to really mean something to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and what you touching bases on your shoes? Once again, I've been on your gram. I've been watching you. We had set this up a couple weeks ago. I seen them bad motherfuckers you had on. What them was? Oh, the pink ones. They was Air Max yeah, or Griffey's or Air Max. Well, Air Max, which one? 95. 95s? Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. Them hard. Man. 95. And like you said right now, man, everybody's on this designer wave, and and all of a sudden people went SBs like crazy. Them used to be a quote unquote skater shoe. You know what yeah. I'm saying? People used to, oh, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. <laughs> once again, like you said, dick riding, hype beats and waves and, and trends and people not being original. You might see a lot of people get judged for throwing on some cool little MX. Even, even these bad ones you got on right now. Yeah. Oh, we might get a picture of them in there for y'all. We might do a little shoe yeah. cam or something, but he got on some cool little orange MX. You know, it's Halloween season, it's yeah. spooky season, yeah. October, fall colors. You put that shit on, man. Hey, we gonna get a picture with him before we go. We gonna probably throw it in at the end of the video for y'all. Yeah. He got on some cool little patchwork, you know. Oh, so would you call yourself a, a dribble? Would you, would yeah, you say you be yeah, stepping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this. I reason why I don't, I mean I use the word drip sometimes, but I really don't like using it no more. You know, uh, I was. I, I guess I could say I was using it because. It's a way, you know, um, that's how now this new way understand, like, staying fly. You know what I'm saying? It'll be, you know, when they grow up, it's like Judy, fresh. You know what I'm saying? I guess back in my mama and them days and shit was sharp, or nice. You know what I'm saying? Man. That's how they understand dressing, like, that's how they understand when a nigga look good and fly, they kind of drip. So that's why I was kind of using it for. Them to understand, but I don't really like using that word because yeah, it's like it everybody drip purposes. now. Yeah, like everybody drip now. You let them tell you like this niggas kind of dripping like buying all designer and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, no you not no motherfucking nigga. You go into the designer store, they dress you, they sell. Mm -hmm. Hey man, we got the little Louis Vuitton belt. Hey, we got the shirt to match, and we got the shoes. It's not fucking dripping. That's not dressing. What the fuck y'all say to that? Nigga, dressing is you gotta go get this shit yourself and put this shit on, bro. You got, you know, shit, we gonna go over here, get a new J's. I'm not buying a Jordan shirt to go with it. Like, what the fuck? Everybody, do, we gonna go get the new J's. Hey, man, we gonna go in here, you know what I'm saying, over here, and um, Nina Moore, you this badass goddamn um, jacket, or we gonna go over here, and then we gonna go over here, and uh, and this motherfucker get these badass skinnies, man, and, and kind of like, come on, man, like, we ain't going to no one store. Like, I ain't never going to one store and just getting your whole entire motherfucking outfit, head to toe, socks and everything. That ain't dressed not hard to do. Any nigga with some money or a nigga who's scamming can go in a designer store and get the whole Gucci outfit and be dripping. That ain't dripping. What the, I mean, I don't know what, you know, I only know what my potty and the was dripping in. I don't. I wasn't brave and based on you dripping, but I'm saying that ain't dressing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That ain't dressing. You gotta really put that shit together, bro. And I feel like you ain't gotta have no motherfucking designer on to dress it. You know how to dress. You know what I'm saying? Then be sharp without that shit. I can go to uh, I can go to motherfucking dealers and get give me some polo uh, fitties. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Some polo fits. You know what I'm saying? Sixty dollars. Get them bitches. Put them bitches. Put a mush shirt on. Put them bitches on top of mush shirt. Get some all black skinnies. And put any shoe on in the world, the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna be lot, you're gonna be yeah. hard. You just yeah. gotta know how to pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, or like you said, for our younger viewers, you're gonna jump Judy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Some shit like that. Like, you gotta pull it out, bro. Like, that shit ain't. And now we talk about dripping, jumping Judy, you know, locally, worldwide, because of TikTok. Look, Guapo, he got that Mr. Put It On. How you feel about that? I've been saying a lot of put it on challenges, and the boys ain't putting it on. Guapo put it on, but yeah, Guapo, 
The rest of you is calling Mr. Put It On and Mrs. Put It On. Some of them motherfuckers that had on be laid, see the front of the lace front. Some of them just be, like you said, just wearing all designer thinking they dripping. Not knowing, me personally, I think it's a funk sway. I think either you drip or you don't. If your personality don't drip and your sway ain't rocking in your, you know what I'm saying? You, I don't care what I got on. I got on a bad Walmart outfit, pants, jacket, shirt, and some cool phasos. I might be fresher than in a ten thousand dollar Gucci, or you know what I'm saying? Boy, that went paid seven eight hundred for this rich guard shirt or something exclusive, and you still ain't dripping. You know what I'm saying? You in your section popping your bottles. I'm in mine. We on the same limit, but you you feel because you're fresher, or you think you're fresher. You know what I'm saying? Because you spent that bag. You know what I'm saying? You pop the tag, and that's not how it goes. Shit don't mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't make like nigga no real nigga. <laughs> that shit don't mean nothing. I ain't that shit don't mean nothing. This shit. No, that shit. I don't even be trying to figure that shit out. That shit ain't me here. Well, look, we don't want to give you a headache today. We want to make sure you keep eating good, enjoying yourself. And let's talk about these three projects you dropped this year. You know what I'm saying? First off, we had On Guard. How you feel about On Guard? What made you title it On Guard? Uh, you know, that's me, man. You know, that's everybody know, man, who been fucking with me for the whole rock game. You know, like, I can't say I invented the word about it. I invented it in rap. I put it, I feel like I put it in the rap culture. Like, far as like how I did it, how I did it, and when it body, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how I use it, and how I see it, you know what I'm saying? I be seeing niggas try to run off with the shit, you know what I'm saying? So I had to like show them like who started this shit. Like nigga, this is my shit. Like nigga, I started this shit. I don't give a fuck what a nigga told my like. So you was the first rapper to use on God. Facts, facts. <laughs> but shit, so we can go back before the beginning of the time. Niggas wasn't on that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wasn't doing that. Niggas wasn't saying that. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas wasn't doing that. On God, niggas wasn't doing that. And then you talk about your everyday life, you put it in your music, you really live in what you rapping. So your next project was NBC. And you already spoke a little bit about that, but what made you name the project NBC? Uh that was my little partnership. That was a J Love shit. You know what I'm saying, who passed away. You know what I'm saying? Uh that was his shit, uh Channel Five. That's where the Channel Five shit come from, that's where the NBC shit come from. Neighborhood body catcher, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that was his memo, that's how he lived, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what made me, uh, and there was something special to a nigga, bro. He was like, uh, he was a one and one bro. You would never get them type of niggas, you know what I'm saying? He was like last of a dying breed, bro. Like, it's hard getting them type of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Right across the top, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody got a chain up, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere in their hood, somewhere. And they, you motherfucker understand what I'm saying when I tell you, like, it's like a one on one, bro. Like, that nigga was special. You know what I'm saying? Like, all around the board, he was special. So, you know what I'm saying? Now my nigga coming. So it's like, man, gotta keep it alive, bro. He's special. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was like, uh, when Tom Brady retired. So, in the field, gonna keep Tom Brady in the loop. Michael Jordan. And NBA gonna keep Michael Jordan in the loop, man. <laughs> he was here, like, I'm mm, talking about him forever. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, like, say that was one of them type of young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Legend, legend baby. You know what I'm saying? At a young age like that, like, you don't get too many of them. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so the Bugatti gang got to keep it alive. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You and the rest of the Bugattis and the Flamingo, you know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. So, definitely. up and coming, you got your new project, Benjamin Siegel. You know what I'm saying? As well, we got your executive producer of the album and mixtape or whatever you might want to call it with us. He waved Johnny again, guys. So, let me chime in with him. How do you feel about this project, man? How do you, how do you feel working with him on this project? Shit, I really didn't know he was working on it. <laughs> that was just for You know what I'm saying? That was hard. <laughs> this, the one, this the one for the year, for sure. You know so, out of all three projects, you think this is going to be that one? I think I did my favorite one so far. You know what I'm saying? The last two for this year, I'm going to too, but this is my favorite one so far. And shit, I just know we can, we can keep progressing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just keep getting better and just fine tuning the sound and shit like that. Okay. 
Well, I know I haven't heard the full project. I haven't heard the finished project. But I ain't gonna lie, the shit I heard, hey, this shit was hard. Yeah, that was definitely hard. Oh, yeah. I'm letting y'all know, he got some badass samples on that motherfucker, man. I ain't lying. He's sampling some shit. I don't got it like sample. He, everybody ain't sampling shit right. And I ain't gonna mention no names. I ain't gonna slander no artists. Some of y'all need to stop sampling certain shit, man. It don't work. Get that shit up. Really? But the two, three tracks I did here, I really fucked with them hoes. And I let you know that night we was in the studio that I was really fucking with the samples and I feel like they was done right. But on this project, how many tracks will it be? Uh, what, 10? 10. 10, we was trying 10. to do 12, but we ended up with 10. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Okay, okay. Like he said, every nigga is number 10 or 4. Them the points he like to shoot. Do we have any features on that? Oh, uh, yeah, we got. I really did it like, uh. I did more of, uh. You know, I got big features this shit. I ain't put out shit, but I ain't really put them on. I did more of, like, casino artists. You know what I'm saying? That made sense. I did more of, like, uh. My people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, my circle. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got any casino artists you want to shout us out to? Cause once again, you the head of the casino game. You know what I'm saying? You the head of that flamingo yeah, shit. Everybody, man. You know, KG, the Daddy, Ferrari, Poetti, uh, D. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, John, Huwa, Johnny. You know everybody, bro. Like, and then there's everybody else. I can keep naming, but they don't even know what they want to be rappers yet. So. You know, you know, it's, it's, it be, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, this casino shit like a family, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit more than rap. You know what I'm saying? So not everybody rap, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, it's a couple of people, bro. Julio, Julio, it's a couple of people, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, okay. Different. So what you saying, Julio, Julio, it brought me to the hen earlier by Fuji. Fujiano be his gun charge. How you feel about that? You I, know? Knew, I knew he was going to be. Okay. Talk to him all the time. All right. I knew he was going to be. So, so we expect a project or a couple of tracks from y'all? No, definitely. I got shit with Fujiano. Uh, I, I never drop. Okay. Okay. Look, that one of the big artists he told y'all. Yeah, I got shit. Yeah, yeah, I got shit with bro. I ain't never even dropped. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got shit with a couple of niggas I ain't never even dropped. I just feel like, excuse me, I'm tired of it. I just feel like time and everything, bro. Like, it's a lot of shit I ain't never dropped. You feel me? All right, all right. And since my boy said he tired, we done got him fed. Oh, shout out yeah, to our sponsors. That's what we did, that shit good. That's <laughs> true. Shout out to our sponsors today. Uh, our food today was sponsored by a local restaurant, a local family, A Bears Catering. They did the whole meal for us, man. So shout out to them. I will be putting the information in the bio as well as with yeah, the business card. Where oh, they located? Born and raised exactly where I'm from, man. Cynical with Texas. Northside. That's where they hit? Yeah. That shit good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Northside. They got a restaurant over there? Oh, right now we are working on getting this space. Oh, so we have been out the house momentarily. Oh, this shit. Mama, I need to go over there. Yeah, yeah. True. This shit good, yeah. I need to go over to the restaurant, bro. Let me show you some, let me show you some shit, boy. That's magic, boy. You ain't know, you ain't know that. So like I said, man, we gonna go on here, wrap it up with my boy Bugatti. I appreciate y'all coming through. Indeed. But I got one more question for you. I done heard you on that Twitch. I heard you yeah, gaming yeah, right yeah, now. The Twitch, man. Uh, uh, what's my Twitch, John? Shit. Uh, Bugatti, under, Bugatti underscore Casino One. Some yeah. shit like that. While he check on that, yeah. tell us what, what games you on there playing. Oh, I play GTA uh, 5M. That's it. Okay, so you, you dug in real life and virtual yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, that shit be yeah. lit. That shit be lit. That shit be live as a motherfucker. The Twitch yes, is indeed. the real Bugatti underscore casino. Oh, okay. That's that's real. That's okay, it. okay. Yeah, yeah. But man, like I said, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the deal. Remember what I always tell you. If it go broke, that's okay. But if it stay broke, that's your problem. Yeah. And then until then, this is Bugatti Casino. This is Heat Wave Johnny. I'm Hustle Man Mike. This is Hustle Man TV. Yes, and we'll see y'all on the next installment.